What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 25 of On Shape. Crazy to already think we are already 25% of the way through. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do today specifically is create our own title blocks. One in inches and then one in millimeters. And then how do we use those for uh, future drawing files? The problem I ran into is that when you change the sheet size is... Um, the title block won't scale with, and you, if you want to create a title block for all different sizes of paper, you're gonna have to create that many different title blocks. At least that's the way I found it so far. I could be totally wrong on this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my students, I'm gonna have them create one in uh, a particular sheet size for inches and another in millimeters, and then change the scale of their parts rather than change the sheet size. Uh, that way they can zoom in, zoom out, and do all their pieces that they need to, but um, change the scale and not the sheet. That way uh, the title block looks the same all the way across. So how do we get here? Uh, so what I've done is I've downloaded the Westell logo for my school from the internet, just downloaded it and uploaded it as a PNG file. So that's the first thing you're gonna need to do uh, when you do that. If you don't know how to import, you're going to click down here on image, insert image, and then import, and then find that file, throw it in there, and then you're good to go. Okay, I've already made this one in inches, and just to show you what a final product looks like. So we're going to do it in millimeters right now, and then you have to redo the same thing for inches. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is let's, let's go ahead and just um, click on the plus sign down here, and let's click on create drawing. And we want to pick a particular uh, on shape template that we're going to use. And so what I'm going to click on is we've already done inches. Now I'm going to do millimeters. So I'm going to open up this drawing template right here. And uh, that way the paper is going to be in millimeter dimensions. So if I import this L block here, uh, just to show that everything's okay. If I dimension this side right here, it's 38.1, but in my inches uh, drawing, it shows 1.5 inches. So this is 38.1 millimeters. Okay, so what are we gonna do here next? And so we're gonna actually just uh, highlight everything, this drawing file over here so far, and we're just gonna delete it. Because we don't need it, and you can kind of stretch those lines. However, um, my title blocks for my students are gonna be pretty straightforward. So I'm just gonna draw three lines across. I'm going to do one right here, hit escape, uh, kind of eyeball what I want to do for the school logo. If I want to move it over just a little bit, you can. And so hitting the L key for line like you've done all the other drawings before. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to insert our school logo. And so we'll click on insert, image, and we just click on those two corners, and there we go. Hitting L on my keyboard again, we're going to drag this all the way on over, and we're actually going to do it one more time. Okay, now I'm, I know these lines aren't going to be exactly where I need them to be, so I'm just going to move them down a little bit, and we're going to start with our first text. So what we're going to do is we're going to input a static text in here for the school, the school year, and the class. So I'm going to click on this little text button or the note at the top. And I'm going to drag this all the way across. And the reason I want to do that is because I can just have it center from the text. I don't have to find where that center is. I can just eyeball where these text boxes are going to be at and then just use the center mark line. So using bold, let's do... Um, to make sure we do the same. I think it's, I'll do, you know, Westell High School. And this is the 2020 through 2021 school year. And then unbolded is going to be uh, Project Lead the Way. Intro. So I was a little bit of lag, so I can't quite tell. There we go, finally got it through. 
intro to engineering design, and I believe that's all we have on that top part right there. Yes. So then I'm going to go ahead and click the green check mark, and we're good there. So what I'm going to do now is hit escape and just drag this line and make it a little bit more snug there. Like I said, you can size this around to be perfect, but since this is a high school level course, I'm not shooting for perfect. We're shooting for a legitimate title block. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is eyeball where these two are split in half approximately. Okay, now this next part I'm, I'm going to do in groups of thirds because uh, what I write and recommend is going all the way across because as we put in some uh, variable name files, it'll squish or compress the text differently. So I recommend um, if we're going to insert our notes here that we do it individually rather than trying to do all of it across the way. What you run into a little bit of is um, if you do it all the way across the way, it'll just it's your plane always playing catch up. Is is it wide? Is it short enough? Is it following the uh, the squares? Is kind of expected. And so this first one is going to be it's going to be designed by. So let's design by, and then we're going to insert drawing property. So drawn by name goes there. Okay, and then oh there we go. Let's make sure that this is correct. Drawn by, okay. Hit the green check mark, and we're good to go. So we already noticed that some things are immediately off, is that this line right here is in the way. So I'm gonna click on this line right here, move it over a little bit to where my name shows up appropriately. And it's not too far scrunched. Okay, so. What are we going to do next? We will hit the enter key, and then the next one below that, I believe, is going to be date of design. And you can call these whatever you want. You can order them however you want, but um, I'm going to do it this particular way for my students. Now, I'm just going to copy and paste that and move this on down here. There we go. And then copy and paste that one more time. Okay. There we go. Now on this middle one, this middle column, I'm going to do drawing name and a part name. Now, the reason I'm going to do those separately is because sometimes we're going to do a drawing file of a whole design like the automata, but we might want to have individual parts in there. So we're going to want the, the drawing file name, or you can say project. Let's make sure we're doing this right. Uh, drawing, just drawing name. Okay. Project would also be a perfectly acceptable there. And so drawing name. And then in the middle in here, we're going to put part name. Hit insert for the part, uh, part name. There we go. Okay. All right. And then the last one's going to be is some sheet information. So we got scale, sheet size, and then sheet number. So let's hit scale. Hit insert. We got uh, sheet scale. Uh, we got sheet size, hit insert, and then down on the bottom here, we're going to put sheet number, and that's going to be sheet number, and then we're going to put a slash sign, and then insert total number of sheets. That way I know what sheet number this is compared to all the other ones. Okay, so now we've got, I'm going to rename this as well. So let's rename this, you know, Westell from my school title block millimeter. Okay, now what this allows to do is um, we've got one in inches, we've got one in millimeters. So then when I go to 
change or import these onto Schoology, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two different files for them to download. So how do we get those files, those uh, drawing template files? So I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit export. And the file name is the yeah, file name of the title or the the drawing file. Format is going to be DWT, so that means for drawing template. And then click export. So what this will do now is this will create a, a downloadable file and you can see I've got one, one down here already and the students are going to download these two that way they don't have to create the title blocks. I imagine this is just a very time consuming, really intensive, uh, small thing. So instead is I'm going to provide these title blocks to them that way they're not wasting time on what does it look like we're spending our time on or are we designing efficiently. Okay. So what do we do here now? And so these downloadables, you throw on whatever learning management system you have, Schoology, Google Classroom, or Canvas, they will then download those files. Okay, once they download those files, what do you do next? So what we're, they're gonna do is they're gonna click on create, they're gonna create document, I'm sorry, they're gonna create and uh, import files. The files they're gonna import are going to be those two are going to be those two uh, drawing templates they've created and so I'm going to rename this one real quick there we go so we're going to click on these two they're going to import both click open it's going to take a little bit while it's going to do its little bit of magic and once we go back into a part I can do anything we've done so far so let's, for example, let's do uh, initial blocks that we've done earlier. Now when we go and we create a drawing, there's going to be created by me. And we're going to see is we've got the inch and the millimeter of these two drawing template files. So depending upon which environment we're in or which system we're using, metric or standard, we can use those as appropriately. Okay, guys, this is a pretty long video. I imagine this is more for teachers rather than for students, but we now create a tie block catered specifically to our school. There is one slight thing I want to talk about, and that is what happens when we introduce a new or we change the scale of the size. Uh, oh, see, so we already got a little bit of problem here. There we go. I'll fix that later. Anyways, this is exactly what I was talking about is once the file names get a little larger, it'll kick around. And we're going to have to adjust this just a little bit. Oh, there we go. I don't want that. Let's move this out of the way. There we go. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Okay, there we go, all right. Now, what happens when, if we change our properties, and this is what I'm talking about, is if we change our sheet size to something other than what we've done, the title block is a static value. And so what it'll do is it won't stretch or uh, it won't condense or expand to the sheet. So depending upon what your sheet size you're using, you'd have to make that many different title blocks. So what I'm going to recommend for my students to do is we're just going to stick with one sheet size and then change our scales as appropriate. And then they're welcome to, if they really want to beat themselves blue in the face, chain, make a uh, title block for all those different ones. However, I'm just not going to provide that for my students. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. Throw the comments down in the comment section. If this video is helpful or you're going to use it in your classroom, please let me know. Uh, like and subscribe. It helps out a whole lot more than you think. You guys are awesome. And until then, I will see you guys on the next video.